All the areas under the jurisdiction of the Hokuriku Regional Development Bureau have been officially designated either areas of heavy snowfall or areas with severe snowy winters, with mountainous regions having particularly heavy snowfalls. When the snow comes, it's important to keep the main roads open to traffic, as they provide the lifelines for economic stability and personal safety. Here are some of the ways the Hokuriku Regional Development Bureau deals with the snow in order to ensure life can safely continue as usual, even in the winter. Until around the middle of the 20th century, there was no clearing of snow from main roads in the snowy areas of Japan. Transport of goods and people had to be done by horse-drawn sleigh or human power. One can just imagine the hardships endured each winter by those living in these snowy areas. Clearing snow from the main roads began in the 1950s. In 1956, a law was passed to ensure transportation would remain possible, even during the winter time in areas of heavy snowfall and this law further encouraged and increased the snow removal activities. Nineteen sixty three saw a devastating snowfall and further motivated development of better snow clearing equipment. At the time, road construction vehicles were simply fitted out with snow plows and so on, but they sometimes were not tough enough for the Hokuriku region's particularly heavy wet snow more advanced, powerful equipment was needed. Back in 1963, only 30 vehicles or so were available for road clearing. Now there are over 500, almost 17 times more. This new equipment not only permits swift, efficient snow removal from the roads, but can also clear the sides of the roads which allow commercial and private transportation to continue as usual. In February of 2014, the heaviest snowfall in 30 years hit Japan on its Pacific Ocean side, paralyzing the nation's capital region, making transportation impossible and isolating many smaller cities and towns throughout Yamanashi, Nagano, Saitama and Gunma prefectures. They had neither the experience nor the equipment to deal with the sudden emergency. So these areas requested the help of Japan's best snow removal team from the Hokuriku Regional Development Bureau. Convoys of powerful snow removal vehicles were sent to Nagano, Yamanashi, Gunma and the other prefectures who needed help. TV cameras followed the snow removal team from Nagaoka National Highway Office. Unlike the Hokuriku region, however, the affected areas had no experience with heavy snow and there were no snow poles or other markers to indicate the location of the roads, making snow clearance far more difficult. Making the job even harder was the fact that so many cars and other vehicles were stuck on the roads. All snow removal had to be safely done around these vehicles. In order to get a feel for where the main arteries and other roads lay, advisory personnel confirmed their locations with satellite images of the area obtained from the internet to make the snow removal vehicle driver's jobs easier. In the Hokuriki area, drivers and advisory personnel always ensure they are completely familiar with the locations of all the roads in their area before the first snow falls. In spite of these difficulties, the long experience, know-how and equipment of the Hokuriki snow removal team opened many major roads to traffic in only one day, earning them the gratitude and respect of residents in the areas afflicted by the heavy snow. With equipment and experience second to none in Japan, the Hokuriku snow removal team works hard to keep life safe and comfortable in regions of heavy snow, even in the middle of winter. In 2013, 50 years after the disastrous snowfall of 1963, the Hokuriku Snow Damage Control Technology Center was established, with a mandate to use all of its equipment and know-how to deal with the problems created by the area's heavy snowfalls 
and to reduce the likelihood of such problems arising in the first place. The Centre's activities include raising public awareness for safe driving on snowy roads, collecting information on road conditions, training snow clearance equipment operators and providing round-the-clock safety even when the snow starts to fall. Before the snow hits, preparations must be done to make the snow removal easier when it comes. Roads have to be checked for problems which would make the snow removal more difficult and these problems taken care of. Snow drift fences need to be put up which will keep the snow beside the roads from blowing onto them. Snow poles are placed which will give vehicle operator markers to determine the locations and widths of the roads they'll have to clear. The sprinkler systems used in many areas to melt snow on the roads need to be checked, adjusted and fixed if necessary. Roads have to be checked for depressions or raised areas and these uneven spots have to be made level with the surrounding road. So the work doesn't start only when the snow begins to fall, much also first needs to be done to make the roads ready for easy clearing when the snow finally arrives. Every year on the 1st of November, the Hokuriku Regional Development Bureau's main snow control centre goes officially into action, with smaller snow control centres located along major roads. With over 500 snow removal vehicles at 45 snow clearing stations, their job is to keep over 1,070 kilometres of road clear of snow and open to traffic. Starting November 1st, the snow clearing stations are on a 24-hour schedule. You can see just how much work they have to do on this chart. From 3 to 6 in the morning, the first priority is to get the roads clear enough for traffic and before the morning rush hour. From 9am to noon, and then again from 1 to 3 in the afternoon, the snow is pushed back from the sides to widen the road. From 3 to 5, ice and snow remaining on the roads is removed, and nighttime road conditions are estimated. From 10pm to midnight, Salt is spread on the roads to facilitate melting and provide better traction. All winter, 24 hours, day or night, when the snow falls, the professionals are there to clear it away and keep the roads safe. Here are a few of the vehicles in the fleet used by Japan's most powerful snow clearing team to do their job quickly and efficiently. The rotary snowblower is used to push back the wall of snow beside the roads and increase the width available to traffic. Its powerful front blades cut through the snow with ease and shoot it far off to the side of the road. When there's new fallen snow on the roads, snow clearing trucks are great for clearing it off as quickly as possible. These powerful all-wheel drive trucks are fitted with snow plows in the front the perfect combination of traction, speed and power. When the snow gets harder and more difficult to remove, motor graders can still get it off the roads. Their powerful centre blade cleans off remaining ice and hard-packed snow, keeping the surface smooth and free from bumps. The wheel loaders are usually used for finer snow removal work, such as at intersections and so on. Now let's find out about the kind of work all this equipment is used for. When fresh snow falls, the first thing to do is to push it to the side of the road, opening at least one lane to traffic each way. This rough clearance leaves behind a bumpy surface, which then needs to be smoothed out. Once traffic can safely pass, major roads are then widened by snow blowers clearing the roadside snow and shooting it even further away. Finally, the road is kept from freezing and traction improved with salt dispersal on the cleared roads. Fifty years after the great snowfall of 63, the Hokuriku Regional Development Bureau now has snow stations on a 24-hour schedule of snow clearing activities 
with their advanced equipment to keep the roads open to traffic even when the snow comes. This region may be known for its world record level snowfalls, but it's the job of Japan's snow clearing professionals to keep life safe and comfortable for local residents here all winter long. Thank you.